Thanks for watching this series. We've reviewed already our type one fun loving child, type two sensitive child, type three determined child. Now we're looking at the type four more serious child. And that's going to tell you something right there. I'm the author of the very popular parenting book, The Child Whisperer. Have you read it? Share in a comment how it's made a difference in your life, even in understanding yourself and your adult children and your young children. I love to hear your success stories. I'm always so grateful to know that I've helped you become a more aware parent because as you as an aware parent can raise children to be mentally and emotionally and physically healthy and spiritually healthy, you've just read, you know, we're, we're populating the world with more balanced human beings and that's a good thing. So the type four child that we call the more serious child has a more intellectual connection to the world and a more thought out approach to life. These are your thinking children. Now, if how they look is something they value, they will think about it. They will have an opinion about it. It will matter deeply to them even at a young age. You might start even seeing this around age three or four years old where they, have a, they want to say in how they look and how things are put together. Now, when it comes to their hair, it's more typical for a type four child to really care about how their hair looks. They have a certain idea and they like things to be exact in their world. And that has a lot, that particular reference of being exact, it comes into play with their hair. So we'll close out our type three one because I forgot to do that. Here we go. This is classic type four boy, the more serious child. That clean, distinct side part is universal for type four young men. It is a important feature in their hair that they have a very clean, defined part with their hair then combed to one side. Now, this parent made it easy because they did a very close cropped shaved side, left the top where the part starts longer, the hair longer. So it was really easy. This child isn't fussing around that. All they got to do is comb the hair over the longer hair and they've got their part, which I think was really smart. So now the child's not fussing with getting the part exactly how they want it. The part, the very defined straight line part is defined and easily maintained with this particular hairstyle. So that's a really good approach to minimizing upsets when they don't feel their part is how they want it correctly. Now this might, you might think, well, that's type three. It's all edgy and angled. Well, in this world, it's a bold statement. He wanted a, a design shaved into his head. And that's a bold statement for a type four. Real clean, uh, that upward, again, the, there's next to no styling, just a little bit in the front, the way it's very, the, it's going from very short to a little longer, different levels they've used. And so that's very thought out in a hairstyle. And I'm sure he requested this. This is something he wanted, he had an opinion, and his parents went with it. I bet he loves it too. It's like, yeah, I've got this really bold statement in my hair. Now, this is a real classic look for a type four little girl. The clean, straight bang. The blunt cut, super easy to maintain. Pretty much all one length. Bangs are never all one length if they're cut correctly, but they appear to have all one length. That's true for a blunt cut as well. This will look good on any type four, very, uh, you know, we have many, many adult women, type four women with this hairstyle, real easy to support your child and having the hair lay exactly in the right place, looking neat and tidy, which is their preference. Now this next little girl, this, this child, this particular girl wanted a real clean cropped hairstyle. This would work for a type four boy or girl, but those very clean 
lines and how the hair is cut one length, real exact, and where the part is, where the hair lays. So she's not just letting her, you know, getting out, she's combing it where she exactly wants it to fall and lay. So the haircut needs to support easy maintenance in allowing that exact placement of the hair to be achieved easily. Then our last one, we even have a, I think it, let's see, it was this little girl here. She's, she wants her hair to be in one place, her bang to be straight. She, if it's not exact, she's fussy. You'll find that a lot of girl, little girls will want their hair longer and pulled back real sleek all tight pulled on the scalp and out of the face and they want a certain bow or a certain hair accessory to match with an outfit honor those specifics with a type 4 child these kids are thought out they've put their thinking and their process through life and these are not just spontaneous random decisions they've made it matters to them they put a lot of thought into it, and if they change their mind, it's because it didn't quite turn out the way they thought. Help them refine it. That is part of their natural tendencies to improve things, perfect things, refine them. They may even want to start doing that with their hair and their hairstyle. Support that rather than see it as demanding or you know, being just too much or annoying see it as their process of wanting to refine something about their personal expression work with them and support them in developing those traits because in some part you know they're going to need it in other areas you might just think hair shouldn't be that important for a small child when it, it very well can be for a type 4 child well, there you go there's our four types of children thanks for watching these thanks for going to thechildwhisper.com and thanks for being an amazing parent.